Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sovereign. Thanks so much for coming back. This is amazing. I'm having such a great time with you guys. Thank you for making it so fun. It's awesome. And I'm having a great time talking with you guys and everything. Uh, but we're growing so fast that soon I'm not going to even have time to talk to all of you. And that's going to suck. But today, you guys, I'm going to show you something that I thought was kind of interesting. I don't usually hit like really stupidly small side quests. But there's one for the Brotherhood of Steel, so possible spoilers, guys, okay? Click off now, possible spoilers, that will basically give you unlimited experience, but it's totally legit, and I'm not claiming that this is the fastest way to do this, or the most efficient, or the best way, so, you know, if anybody out there is thinking that that's what I'm trying to say with this, it's not... It's just me personally, I don't like using exploits. The only exploit that I have used in this game is the one that allows you to increase the size of your base by making the full meter go down. Because I felt like we should have had more to build with. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I like to do things as legit as I can. So I just turned in a quest to this guy and got 381 experience. I can immediately go right back to questing for him again and just basically restart the same quest. Now all that this is, is I'm basically escorting a scribe of the Brotherhood to a location on the map, and there's a terminal or a computer there, and all the scribe needs to do is basically go up to that terminal for like two seconds. It's like a split second process, and once that happens, then we just come back here, and I turn it in, I get some bottle caps, and I get some experience. And it's so easy. I mean, I you can do these quests within like five minutes, maybe seven minutes the most. Uh, I have it on the highest difficulty, and I was still whipping through them pretty quick. And I really like this method because, like I said, it's completely 100% legit. And I don't like to use like infinite XP glitches and infinite caps glitches and stuff like that. That's just not the way I play. That's not the kind of player I am. But... I thought this was a great way because the experience is not terribly small. It's really not. And you do get about 100 caps-ish each time you do it, which will add up, I mean, especially if you plan on grinding for a while. Uh, so each time you just come back out here where I just went, you meet up with the scribe. He'll say, okay, this is where we're going. Lead on. And he'll give you a place on the map. Now, this is where I was first going was over there at the, uh, at the plant so I went there twice in a row, actually. That's why I went all the way over there at first. I'm like, oh, wait, it's not there. So it does vary the location, but I mean, still. And the really cool thing about this quest, too, if you would even call it that, honestly, it's so small. The cool thing about it is that at the locations that you're going to be visiting during the duration of this quest, actually, it will respawn everything there. So you'll get the experience from killing all the enemies. You'll get the items that the enemies have on them that they drop or whatever. And also any locked containers, doors, terminals, any containers that even aren't locked that just contain items, everything will be put back as it normally was when you very first discovered it. With the exception, of course, if there were like skill books or a unique weapon there or something. But even some unique weapons I've seen have actually respawned, not during this mission, but in other places. So this is actually a really great way to not only get some experience and caps 100% legit, but to also find a good amount of ammunition, like in containers, get XP for more lock picking and hacking, get XP from killing enemies. These gunners could possibly drop some ammo that you need or some armor that you've been looking for. It's I think it's just a really great way to get what you've been looking for. If you just want to sit there and grind for a while, you can progress pretty quickly doing this, I think. I mean, again, it only takes about five to seven minutes per quest on this. You grab the quest, you meet up with the scribe, you keep him alive, you go to the location where you have to go, you come back. That is it. That is all you have to do. And there's some really great places to go to, places that are really fun and interesting, like this one. And there's some good stuff in here. Good ammo containers, a lot of good stuff to find. Brain fungus, and as you can see, there's a legendary gunner out there as well. So you still have a chance to spawn legendary enemies. It's really awesome, really awesome. So if you guys were looking for a legit way to maybe grind out some XP, some caps, maybe get some ammunition, then uh, maybe you can try this. Again, I'm not claiming this is the best way to do this, and I'm not claiming this is the fastest or most efficient way to do this, 
But I just found this today, and I thought maybe you guys would be interested, because again, me personally, I don't use exploits like that infinity xp glitch and stuff I, I haven't even looked up how to do it i don't care so i i do it all legit so if this is something you're interested in guys hopefully you'll check it out and you know again though you have to be involved with the brotherhood you don't have to get super far into their quest or anything pretty much once you're invited to the pridwin which is that ship i was on of theirs then you're good to go you can do it and also the, the senior scribe that I was speaking to will also ask you to find technological like forms and manifests for him. So as you go through containers now, after you've said, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do that for you, you can find like technological papers. It'll say like technological papers or something like that. And you can just pick them up, and when you come back to them, you can turn them all in for 25 caps apiece, which you can actually find them pretty easily. So you can bank on this guy. So really, guys, if you're looking for caps, if you're looking for XP, if you're looking for ammo, chems, like anything, if you want to get some XP for lockpicking, for hacking, whatever, then you want to do that legit, try this. And if you know of a better way, then you can absolutely let me know, and uh, I can look into it if you guys want. No problem at all. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking here. Um, if, I'll leave it going so you guys can see me finish out the quest and turn it in and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm going to be done talking for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. It's absolutely incredible. I, I made my 400 subscribers special on Wednesday. And then I made my 500 subscribers special on Friday. Here it is Saturday and we've already passed 600. This is absolutely insane. Astronomical growth. Thank you guys so freaking much. It's amazing. And I look forward to being with you guys for a long, long time. So if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, if you could appreciate the legitness of the nature of this video, then please go ahead and give it a like. That would really help out. And if you're new to the channel, then before you take off, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and come back for more. Don't just hit it and leave. Come back for more. There might be something else that you want to see. Thank you guys seriously so much. In the meantime, I have to take off because it is late here and I just wanted to get this done for you, though. Thank you, guys. I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Goodbye. Attention, Bravo 64, report to Armor Bay 2. Bravo 64 to Armor Bay 2. Yes, sir. Ah, what? And here, for your troubles. There's plenty of material out there, so let me know if you're still in. I found some technical documents for you. And they're in wonderful condition. Sure. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, mm -hmm. check every building you explored. Uh huh.